Well, you know what? You walk down any old street in Hong Kong and luxury cars, they just crawl by bumper to bumper. It's a tangible reminder of the extraordinary wealth here. The number of Mercedes, Audis, and even BMWs, along with more affordable brands you can throw in, for example, Toyota and Hondas, well, they continue to surge here in the city. New analysis by Bloomberg News shows Hong Kong pollution levels running in tandem with rising car sales. In fact, our Bloomberg chart of the day shows private vehicle registration hit 516 thousand last year. To give you a sense, that's a third more than the past decade. Other vehicles, including buses, trucks, and taxis, saw an 11 percent rise to 231,000, according to our most recent government figures. Air pollution? Well, we all know it here in the city. That's pretty much a traveling companion. Data from the Clear Air Network show the annual average concentration of nitrogen dioxide at street level in Central was a record 126 micrograms per cubic meter back in 2013. And critics say that Hong Kong is doing very little to reduce that and that, of course, that threat poses to a huge number of people in the city who have to breathe the air. Children, the elderly, and those with chronic health conditions are the most at risk. Hong Kong's government maintains that they are addressing the challenge. The transport department, though, claims the limited land area and the well-developed public transportation system discourage car ownership. But they also point to a plan for new technologies that will cut vehicle emissions, although many people say that has yet to come to fruition. Environmental groups say that essentially what the government is doing doesn't address the, the bigger threat. The fact that there's a fleet of aging, smoky trucks and buses that spend the most of their time, well, let's face it, on the roads. And until they're upgraded or fewer people actually try by these type of mechanisms, Hong Kong's pollution and traffic jams... Well, guess what, folks? They're probably going to get worse. One of the drawbacks of a prospering global city, you could say. Hong Kong Polytechnic University warns that unless consumers and the government work toward a different attitude, pollution and political gridlock will bring the roads to a shuddering halt, a problem that we will always feel if you are walking down the streets here, but again, a problem that could be easily solved if everyone, all the sides, get together. For your global outlook for today, I'm Mia Saini in Hong Kong.